So in today's video, we're gonna be using AI to come up with three different t-shirt designs. We're gonna use ChatGPT to come up with the ideas, and then we're gonna use Midjourney, which generates images, to generate the images that ChatGPT is gonna give us. So lately, there has been an insane revolution of AI, and I'm sure most of you have already heard of either ChatGPT or maybe DALL-E image generator. There's a bunch of different ones. Now you can do a ton of different things with AI. For example, on ChatGPT, you can come up with product descriptions, product titles, or you could just talk to it if you're lonely. Honestly, with something like ChatGPT, the possibilities are endless. AI right now is an extremely powerful tool, and the craziest part is that it's just getting started. Who knows what this is gonna be able to do in five or six years. So make sure you start learning this stuff now because ultimately as time passes by, AI is gonna keep getting more advanced and ultimately the best thing that we can do is learn how to use it for our businesses. We have to use all the tools at our disposal to stay ahead of the game. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start off with coming up with some ideas with ChatGPT. And as I said earlier, ChatGPT, you can just talk to it and pretty much just have a normal conversation. But in this case, we're just gonna tell it to give us a few different ideas. And to start, let's come up with, let's come up with a holiday design. All right, so we got some time, so let's do Christmas. Now, what are we gonna do for that? Let's do, all right, we want a few ideas that revolve around Christmas. Let's include an American flag. Let's make an American Christmas with Santa. Okay. All right, so these are just ideas that I'm gonna give ChatGPT, and then ChatGPT is gonna give me specific ideas for a t-shirt. So let's just see how this plays out. So give me, I don't know, five t-shirt ideas that include Christmas, an American flag, and Santa. Enter. Merry Christmas, y'all. This t-shirt could feature an image of Santa Claus wearing a cowboy hat and boots with a backdrop of an American flag and some festive Christmas elements like snowflakes, candy canes, and mistletoe. That's interesting. Santa's favorite patriot. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good. This design could feature an image of Santa wearing an Uncle Sam hat and holding an American flag with the words Santa's favorite patriot in festive bold lettering. You know what? I'm not even going to read the rest. I like that one. We're going to go with that one. All right, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to take this an image of Santa wearing an Uncle Sam hat and holding an American flag with the words Santa's favorite patriot in festive bold lettering. All right, I'm just gonna copy that as is and then I'm gonna go on over to Midjourney. Now Midjourney works on Discord. If you wanna check out either ChatGPT or Midjourney, I'm gonna have the links to them down below in the description. Both of these are totally free to use by the way. So in Midjourney, we're gonna go ahead and type a message to the bot that we're speaking to, the one that comes up with all the images. And what we have to do is just hit slash imagine and next to prompt, we have to put what we want. So I'm just gonna paste that in there. All right, so is there anything I wanna add to this? Let's go ahead and put as a t-shirt design. So now it's gonna start doing its thing. It's gonna take a couple minutes. And one thing I do wanna point out before it gives us our images is when you tell Midjourney to write text, it doesn't write it the way it's supposed to. It doesn't even write it with any actual letters. It has a bunch of gibberish and some random stuff, but that's okay because most of the times it's in a separate spot where you can just erase it, clear it out, and just replace it with your own text. All right, whoa, <laughs> these are so cool. Oh my God. All right, so in this one, as you can see the text, let's say on the first one, it, uh, I mean, you can change it, yeah. You could just make that into all black and then type whatever you want there. All right, so which one of these is my favorite one? Oh man, these are all fantastic. But I think, I think I like this one. Yeah, I like this one. All right, so let's go with that one. So what we're gonna do is if I copy this image straight up, it's just gonna be a very low quality image. So I'm gonna click out of here. And as you can see, you have U1, U2, 3, and 4, and then V1, V2, 3, and 4. So U means upscale and V, I don't know what V means, but what it does is it gives you some different revisions. So it'll redo it and it'll give you a few different variations of whichever one you choose. So I like the third one, so I'm gonna upscale the third one. And now it's gonna do its work and it's gonna take a little bit, it'll probably take a few minutes and it'll spit out our image. That's crazy how I came up with that. Wow, I absolutely love it, I think it's fantastic. As you're waiting, you see all of the different things that people request, what they ask the bot to do. And just the detail in some of these, it's just amazing. It's crazy to think that a computer came up with these. It comes up with it based on user prompts, but the fact that it creates these images is insane. Like, look at this. Hand-drawn, black and white, 
flat line of disco in Rome black background. Look how cool these look. You can get these, vectorize them, and you can do this with, and then and you can print a t-shirt using vinyl with this. It's absolutely insane. All right, so this is the upscale. All right, so then we can go ahead and click on it over here. And we can open it in the browser. And there is our image. As you can see, like I told you, the back, the text, it, it doesn't work. Fathatnite, I don't know. But let's go ahead and save this image. And I'm just gonna drag it over to Photoshop. It does have that black background, which we gotta get rid of. We also gotta get rid of that text. So let's just do that really fast. All right, that looks pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and drag this over here. Let me size it appropriately. Maybe a little bit smaller. So this is actually what I use as my template for my, uh, for my mock-ups. So once I save it here, it'll show up here. And there we have our first design. And I think it looks absolutely incredible. Kind of messed up, gotta fill in the little stars over here, but not a huge deal. Overall, I think it looks really good. So let's get started on our second design. All right, so for this one, I'm actually gonna create a logo, right? And I'm gonna tell ChatGBT to give me three ideas for logos for a logo for a t-shirt company that comes up with their t-shirt ideas using AI. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, so first off, t-shirt AI. This logo could feature a robot or AI assistant holding up a t-shirt with a company name, t-shirt AI in bold lettering. The design could also incorporate some playful elements like speech bubbles or thought clouds to suggest that the AI is coming up with new ideas in real time. That's pretty cool. I have to move a little bit to the side because the camera's blocking my screen. Inkwell AI. This logo could feature an inkwell with an AI circuit board inside, symbolizing the merging of traditional designs with modern technology. The company name Inkwell AI can be written in bold. AI thread co. This logo could be a spool of thread with an AI circuit board wrapped around it. All right, I like the playfulness of the first one. So let's go ahead and do that one. Slash imagine. I'm gonna type that in, except I'm going to switch this and I'm gonna put a logo featuring a robot or AI assistant holding up a t-shirt with the company name t-shirt AI. Let's not do the company name. Let's take that off because we already know that the lettering just isn't going to come out right. So holding up a t-shirt. The design could also incorporate some playful elements like speech bubbles. And let's take that off and let's just put with a speech bubble or thought cloud. All right, so let's go ahead and see what it comes up with. All right, so it came up with these, and <laughs> I absolutely love it. Oh my god. They're not holding up a t-shirt though, but that's okay because I really like how they look. I love this one right here. Oh, you know what? I like this one. I have an idea. All right, so let's take the third one, upscale that one. All right, so here it is upscaled. Let's go ahead and save that. And what I'm actually going to do here is just, and I'm actually going to take this image over here, right? I'm going to go ahead and take that and I'm going to put it in the little speech bubble. Now, actually, let me do one quick change really fast. All right, perfect. All right, so from this, 
I'm just going to copy it. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the background on there. On this little speech bubble, same thing, I'm going to delete this little stack of shirts. You can't really tell it's a stack of shirts, that's why I don't like it. And this is our AI t-shirt logo. This came out really cool. So I guess this went from three t-shirt designs to starting a t-shirt brand. <laughs> or maybe not, you know, you, you, can, you can still use this as a regular t-shirt design as well. You don't have to put the t-shirt in there and use it as a logo. This, it, this itself, you could put whatever you want in that little speech bubble, you make it say whatever you want, and just put that in front of a shirt, and there you have a second t-shirt design. Now, for the third one, I'm gonna tell it to give me three t-shirt ideas based off of... So ChatGPT, I believe, only goes up to the year 2021. Like, its information pretty much just stops at that. So anything that happened after 2021, it's not gonna know about. So give me three t-shirt ideas based off of something in 21 let's see let's we could do something based off of superheroes you know what i think i got something let's just do something random three t-shirt ideas that include dragons basketball space and an asteroid dragon dunk <laughs> This t-shirt could feature an image of a dragon holding a basketball and preparing to make a slam dunk on an asteroid in space. That's good. Hoops and asteroids. This t-shirt could feature an image of a basketball flying through space towards an asteroid with a dragon flying alongside and preparing to catch the ball. That's really interesting. The design could incorporate some playful elements like cartoon style dragon basketball, space dragon. This t-shirt could feature an image of a dragon flying through space with an asteroid in its claws as if it had just plucked it from the depths of the galaxy. I like that one. I like that one a lot. All right, so let's go back to Mid Journey. Let's go ahead and prompt it to imagine a dragon flying through space with an asteroid in its claws, as if it had just plucked it from the depths of the galaxy. Let's take that off. With planets and galaxies in the back. Going to Slam dunk it on a basketball hoop on the moon. Let's, let's see what it comes up with. Whoa. Yo, these are sick. Yo, these are all sick. I absolutely love them. Wow. Now, which one am I going to choose? The first one is insane. I love the first one. But this right here, I guess it could be its arm. That looks kind of weird, but this one also looks weird. Another thing about AI is that it makes hands and arms kind of a little weird. Um, but, you know, just limitations for now. But you know what? I like this one. Yeah, but the basketball hoop kind of seems out of place. I like this one. This one looks sick. Actually, you know what? This one looks sick. But I don't know if that's the mouth or what that is, but the end of this looks kind of weird. Alright, so let's go ahead and actually just tell it to redo them, or reshuffle, whatever it calls it. It's pretty much just going to come up with a new variation of all of them. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's see. I'm really liking either this one or this one, but this one actually looks really good. It just looks really weird up here. Like, this little part over here just looks kind of weird. You know what, though? I'm not going to overthink it. I'm going with the first one. I love it. Let's go ahead and upscale the first one. Putting this over here again. Let's go ahead and put this one on a t-shirt. Now, the only thing about this is that since it does have the black background and it mixes in with all the different colors, it's going to be tough to remove the background itself. So a design like this would just go best on a full-on black t-shirt, no other variations. Unless you don't mind having the black box around. All right, there we have our last image. Man, let me tell you, this is... <laughs> the power of AI is absolutely amazing. It's crazy how we were able to come up with a logo and two full-on intricate and super detailed t-shirt designs 
in less than an hour or an hour and a half, if that. Well, for you guys, it's probably less than like 10 or 15 minutes because this video is going to be condensed. But really, all the work that I put into this right now was no more than an hour. Now, from here, you have a few different choices. You can take the images and just put them on t-shirts and sell the designs as is. Or you can take the images, send them to an artist, or you can mess with them yourself, adjust them however you want, and just play with the image and just tweak it to your liking. Remember that while AI is an extremely powerful tool, it does have a few limitations. Ultimately, it is a computer doing these things, so it's not gonna pick up certain errors that you probably would. For one, like I mentioned earlier, and as you saw, the text, and I'm not entirely sure if I mentioned it earlier as well, but AI also has problems rendering hands. So it'll come up with like some weird fingers or if you have a fist, it'll come up with like a finger coming out. It's it's weird. But those are things that, you, that can easily be fixed, you know. As you saw, you can start a t-shirt business now in like less than a day and have already 15 or 20 different designs to be able to sell within pretty much 24 hours. You know what? Hold on. And there it is on the hoodie. There's a the front logo. And here we have the back. All right, now we can officially say that we designed and printed a t-shirt using AI for the most part. Obviously, as you saw, we had to make a couple tweaks. So start working with AI, start learning it, start figuring out how it works, check out the image generators. You obviously don't have to use it for everything, but it can always be a helpful tool that you can use. I know a lot of people say that using something like ChatGPT to write descriptions, Google is gonna start punishing you for using that in your websites or maybe on Etsy, I'm not entirely sure, but ultimately, I do use ChatGPT to come up with certain descriptions, but I tweak them so that way it sounds a bit more human or a bit more me. AI is a very valuable resource. Obviously, it's not going to completely take the work out of anything, but it is a very, very valuable resource that you have at your disposal practically for free. So take advantage. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of AI. Are you for it? Are you against it? Do you like what it can come up with? Do you think it's dangerous down the road? Do you think it's gonna take over the world? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion on this. Do you think it's gonna take all our jobs? Remember that my name is Mario with Neko Prince, and if you found this video helpful, if you found it informative, if you liked it, make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Leave a like because, as always, it helps out the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.